Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video I'm going to be setting up my June reading tracker currently dashboard page. So if that interests you, keep on watching. So I decided to start implementing and starting to share a video with you guys on how you can maybe really dress up your currently dashboard page for like if you're doing like your reading tracker, you know, the monthly spread like how I do, which will be my next video. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how I'm going to be dressing up my currently dashboard pages for my reading trackers. So for this month of June, I'm going to be pulling stickers from the Happy Planner Disney Princess Plans sticker book. I don't believe this is still available or anything like that. If it is, I will have the link down below in the description box for your convenience. And I'm also going to be pulling some stickers from Kel of a Plan watercolor boxes and florals sticker book. And I'm also going to be showcasing that I did, I was playing around with AI <laughs> and I had it come up with kind of like a what it thought or pictured as the Beauty and the Beast castle, kind of as like a background and everything. So we're going to be implementing a picture that AI came up with and everything into our currently dashboard page. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about this and everything. So with that being said, let's get started with getting some things out of the way. So what I was thinking first and foremost is I'm going to be widening out this priorities goals little section here. Okay, I'm gonna leave the lines for now. Um, and if I change my mind, I'll, you know, wipe those out and everything. And so what I was thinking for my currently dashboard page for my reading um, planner and everything or reading spread rather, is I kind of want to do it in a way where I'm going to, as I'm reading books throughout the month and everything, if there's like certain quotes or anything that really like pop out at me, I want to like write them down and everything just to kind of remember them, you know, for, you know, fun, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of that aspect and everything. So what we are going to be doing is I think first and foremost, since we have those whited out, I'm going to be bringing in this picture. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Fiskars just to trim off this excess white. And then we're going to line it up on our page and everything in a certain way that I think is going to make the most sense. All right. So we're going to play a little bit with um, using this AI, you know, created imagery. And I know that since AI is kind of taking off, I was like, well, let's, let's see what I can maybe kind of implement here using AI into potentially like, you know, my planner and everything. So, and I did use the, the beta mid journey, um, AI, if you guys were wondering to create and come up with, um, to prompt it rather to come up with this imagery. And if you didn't pick up on it and everything, since I was talking about, you know, Beauty and the Beast and then also using the Disney princess stickers and everything. Yes, we're going to be having a Beauty and the Beast theme here for our June reading. So I'm pretty excited about this, guys. So we're going to put the Fiskars off to the side. And what I was thinking is I'm kind of wanting to set this up in a way to where I kind of want to have it like in the middle ish. Hmm. Do I want to have it in the middle? No, I'm going to put it all the way to the top. Okay. But I'm going to kind of square this up to where I think it's going to be the best. And so I think I need to, I'm actually going to bring the Fiskars back in because so I can see I'm going to need to trim off a bit. So, Let's bring that up here and I'm just going to, we're going to start off with trimming off like, let's say this much. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oh, wow. Perfect. <laughs> that is absolutely. Perfect how I want it. Okay, that's great. 
All right, so we got just a smidge off the side, but that's okay with me. That's gonna be perfectly fine. Actually, I'm gonna lay it down maybe where I'm laying it right there with the edge as well. Okay, yep. all right. So now we are going to bring in our double-sided roller tape here, okay? And now that I have the image, you know, cut to the size that I want, I am going to just put this on the corners like you would a picture. And then I'm just going to do a few right there down the middle. Okay. And now very carefully here, <laughs> we're going to take our picture and I'm going to want to edge it up along that line on the page as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just, you know, good enough, I think, you know. All right. I think that'll be, that'll be good. Okay. So what do you guys think of our background so far? I really like that. Okay. So now that we have our background set up, I was thinking about coming over to Calva Plan and for her flowers and everything that I had kind of was thinking that that would be perfect to use would be these ones right here that have like a yellow and a blue because for the simple fact of I'm going to be pulling in Belle and I'll show you. I'm going to be pulling in, oh gosh, my ball sticker. There we go. I'm going to be pulling in this uh, sticker here of Belle and the Beast. And you can see how it has like these blues and the yellows and everything. And I thought it would kind of pair off really nicely with that. So we are going to be using those. Okay. And so I am going to, first of all, I'm going to take a look here and see what kind of flowers we have. All right. And I think I'm going to go for this corner one right here. And so with my tweezers, I'm just going to kind of see where the edge would be for starting the sticker. And see if I can pull it up here using my tweezers. I'll turn the page here a little bit. Get my tweezer underneath the lip, so then I can start lifting sticker up as quickly as we can. Okay, there we go. All right. And then now I want to take this. And I want to line it up right here with the corner, right up into that spine of the page. I'm going to lay it out just like that. And I think that's going to look really, really pretty. Okay. And then now I am going to be bringing in, I think I'm going to do this side long piece. I think that'll look really nice over here. So again, with my tweezers, I'm just going to kind of lift up the page a little bit just to kind of see where the start is of that clear back sticker and then lift up and then carefully get up the rest of the way. All right. And now I'm going to turn our currently page this way and I'm going to try my best here. I'm visualizing. Yeah. It'll be nice just like that. Actually, you no, know I'm gonna take it all the way to the top. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna line up the very edge with the corner edge here of the page. And we want to try to line it up as best we can with the very edge of the page. That paper. And then just lay it down like that. Okay? And it's not going to be perfect, but that is quite all right. Okay. We just want to get like the, the major gist of it and everything. And I think what I'm going to do too, is if you have the same issue that I'm noticing on mine, I'm going to bend my little disc things back here 
and I think what I'm gonna do is gonna bring my runner tape in and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on those two little vents the spine yeah and that way it kind of gives it a little extra grip since it's gonna be going and we're gonna be punching through um, here in just a little bit along the spine there with that picture so yeah I think that works out really really well okay and then, all right, so now we're gonna come over here. My sheet kind of fell out. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our tweezers and we're gonna lift up the beautiful Bell and Beast as carefully as we can here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then we're gonna pull beautiful couple here and I think it's, it'll be kind of cute having them down here in a way where it's like you know um what do I want to say I'm like um you know in the foreground to where they're like part of you know the scenery you guys know what I'm talking about like size wise and everything, you know, like this is in the distance and then they're in the forefront kind of thing. All right. You guys know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to be taking my tweezers and I think I want to just bring in these, um, little roses, um, and then just place them kind of like around for a little bit of decoration. I'm not gonna go too crazy with them or anything like that. And then I'm going to get this pink one, and then we're gonna lay it in over here. Kind of maybe, kind of create a little cluster here with some roses. I think it'll be really pretty, and at the same time, kind of keeping it relatively simple. You know, I'm also gonna bring in this yellow one, and I think. That'll look really nice because then it'll give me still some space to write in some quotes and everything from any of the books that I like, you know, that I'm reading um, for this month and everything. So, um, you know, I'm going to bring in these like little greenery leaves as well. I'm going to be kind of moving down here. any little few extra little touches here and there I think you know, that was nice to do all right so let's get this other one and I really like using the tweezers and everything in this way because it just gives more control over you know lifting up the flowers and clear back stickers and what have you I'm also going to bring in this other yellow I'm kind of using the edges of the stickers too to kind of keep the background picture down you know more on the page too okay and then that's gonna call it good guys so we are going to wrap up this and now we are going to bring over our punch our single punch here and we are going to punch these up as best we can. So again, I'm going to take the punch and I'm going to line it up, even though I can't, you know, punch it through, but it's going to be lined up with that first hole. And then I'm going to punch it through and then I'm going to use that as my guide to go right down, Ooh, right down the side of the page here. I'm going to punch that one more time. But sometimes when you have stickers that kind of go over the punch holes that you're trying to punch out sometimes they just need a little extra Ooh. love to do so <laughs> and 
And then, as I always say, take your time with this. You don't want to mess up. Okay, and then we can flip it over and we can line this one up, punch through that sticker the size, that side, and there we go. So here we have our currently dashboard page for our reader tracker. All right, let's go ahead and pop this into our ring of planner. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna just pop this in and look at this page, guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I, I have to say, and I keep saying this every time, but I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it's really beautiful how we have like the different corresponding um, flower colors to go along with our beautiful bell and beast. And then we have our beautiful AI generated, you know, castle background and everything. And then we have these beautiful flowers pulled in here on the side, still leaving us room to write down. You know some quotes or anything from any of the books that really stand out to us this month while we read and so i'm just really excited how this turned out guys and i just love being able to show you guys on um, giving some inspiration and everything on how you can maybe dress up you know or decorate you know your currently dashboard pages of your um reading tracker if you are doing that and you know like i said um this is the page the currently dashboard page preceding the monthly layout or the monthly spread of my journal portion of my Franken planner, which I use for my reading tracking. And so I just like to keep track of all the books that I'm reading. I like to keep track of like how many books I'm reading, how many pages, and then using this page now to utilize it for showing, showing you guys on how any kind of quotes or anything like that from any of the books that really pop out or stand out with me or kind of, you know, really just kind of resonate with me. I like to make note of them here on my currently dashboard page. And it's a way of, you know, showcasing and going with theme, you know, and so I chose Beauty and the Beast because Belle, she's an avid reader, you know, reading. So I figured this would be an apropos kind of theme to use for the currently dashboard page. And then, spoiler alert, I'm also gonna be carrying that theme into the main portion of my reading tracker monthly spread as well. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming up next for you guys. And so I, I hope you guys liked this video idea and I can give you some kind of inspiration on how you can utilize, you know, your currently dashboard page in a different way. It doesn't have to necessarily be in the reading tracker portion of your Franken planner or your journaling or anything like that, but just to kind of give you an idea of maybe how to zhuzh up some of your pages a little bit more. So if you like the video, remember to hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely 100% free and it helps my channel gets pushed through to all of our like-minded, beautiful planner community people who love and enjoy watching this type of content. And if you uh, subscribe to the channel, remember to turn the bell notification on. That way you're notified of all my future and upcoming videos. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. We are quickly on our road to 250. And spoiler alert, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway when we hit 250 subscribers. So subscribe if you haven't and turn that bell notification on. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves. Be kind. Spread some love. And as always, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.